Good evening. I come to you from a not so attractive looking Molly. I've just got home. <clears throat> I've been in Leeds today with my mum. Had to take her to the dentist and then she wanted to do a bit of shopping. But the shopping was very unsuccessful. Leeds was not popping today. Apart from Zara, they had some good cargo trousers, but I was trying not to spend money. Anyway, I am hoping and praying that this is the start of our moving vlog. Or vlogs. Or moving series, I should say. Yesterday, we got a call to say we had been accepted for the house that we put an offer in for. We're just renting, by the way. We're not buying anywhere yet. However, that is just... That was just like an approval so that we could go through referencing. So the house is currently off the market and we paid the holding fee and we've gone through referencing. However, I'm just feeling a little bit nervous. I was really excited yesterday. It was all I could think about was getting the call and getting told that we got accepted. And I felt like I was feeling so positive and I was very much in my manifestation bag trying to just think very positively about it. But with our referencing, um, we were hoping that because we're both self-employed that oh, please look at Hendrix right now up on the side being nosy at my package That we could do this open banking so that they could basically oh Don't want to knock my wine glass over so that they could basically see um, What we are earning now however, we were only able to submit our previous tax returns I don't know why I'm telling you all this because this is, I guess, kind of personal, but um, I'm just a bit worried because obviously last year still counted as like, for us like as a COVID year and we weren't really earning as much as we are right now. So I'm just a bit nervous that they're going to go off that and f feel like we aren't going to be able to afford the house. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I need to not be. I need to stay in my positivity mindset and... Ay, 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 ay. Hi. Mum, well, we're going to move to a new house, aren't we? Are we going to go to a new place? Oh, you're both so moany. Yeah, I've just got in. I feel like I'm very much on the brink of a cold. But I've said it too many times, so I'm probably manifesting that as well. So, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even going to say the words. What I'm going to do is be quiet. Make... The ginger make my ginger and honey drink and I, i'm just really in the mood to sort the house out but because we are regardless of whether we get this place or not which touch every piece of in this house we do because we love it we are very much wanting to move like asap so <laughs> my level of being bothered to sort the house out is getting less and less and less however i very much cannot live in like an untidy home and um, things are just like not uh, looking spick and span right now. However, tomorrow I now have the full day off. I say off, I'm gonna be doing like bits and pieces like going to the gym because I said I was gonna do it for the last two days and have I done it? No, I haven't. And I'm feeling very <sighs> not good about that. But I don't feel great right now. And I just wanna spend time with my fiance like, We've not seen each other properly since Saturday and he was really poorly. We did a gig and then he was really poorly, so we've not spent proper time. So he's currently on his way home and I just want to chill. I want to have a really hot shower. I want to make this drink. I want to light a candle and I want to chill. I just feel like I'm getting to that part of the end of the year where I'm like very much wanting to hibernate and my energy levels are getting less and less. However, I did wake up at 7 a.m. this morning. I had a lot of energy this morning, but that's very much gone. And I hope that we find out some info tomorrow as well because I we literally, Jamal submitted his forms last night and I just submitted mine like first thing this morning, like 8.30 a.m. this morning. So, okay, let's make the front room cozy and go take a shower. First, I'm gonna feed my babies cause I know you're going to get in my nerves, aren't you? How you get my nerves? You both turn into chunks again. So we also need to nip that in the bud.
Whatever. You know what's really bad? Is I've had Betty Crocker icing in my fridge for ages and I just saw it and I was like, I really want to take a spoon and just get all involved in that. I'm not going to do that. In fact, I might do that. Because I was just thinking I would love something sweet. But I don't really have anything left. My sweet thing is like having biscuits and tea after dinner. cost of living crisis. I got a package from Amazon today. My neighbor very kindly took it in for me because I missed it yesterday. And I thought I would unbox it with you. Ooh. I got the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro over ear monitor, speaker, headphones. Pretty, how does this open? So I wanted some overhead headphones for a while for when I am recording in my studio setup. Can you ever open these boxes? Like, why make it so hard? And I don't like to rip things, so. Watch them drop now. I also wanted them because I have my first DJ gig on Monday, when I'm filming this, it's on Monday, which I'm very excited for, I'm very nervous for, but I'm really excited. And I'm so grateful that Reform asked me to be a part of this lineup because they obviously must think I'm all right with the song choices that I make on the radio. So, you know, doing something right, I hope. But I'm excited, I'm excited. Gast. I love making like musical purchases, they just make me so happy. We are a washed and clean queen. Hello. How are we? It's been a few days, well, probably like a week and a bit since I last filmed anything to do with the house. Let me try to set you down somewhere. Sorry for the probably very wonky angle. You're just leaning on the cat's bed right now. So it is the 28th of December now. Christmas has been and gone. It was the least Christmassy I've ever felt in my life. It literally just felt like any other day. It's not felt like a festive period at all. Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. N not that it was a bad thing, but just didn't feel festive and all I can think about is the house and moving we should find out uh in six days on the 3rd of January the lady from the estate agent is going to be ringing us and letting us know whether we got the house or not I don't remember what I last filmed but basically I think it was when we were submitting all our bits for referencing and that took um so we were doing that on the Tuesday and so literally like just over two weeks ago but they needed a lot of stuff from us and we didn't think we were going to pass because of our previous tax year because we're self-employed and it was still covid so we wanted to submit anything else like bank statements or um just to prove that obviously we're now able 
you know an earning so that took a little bit longer than we hoped and it meant that the referencing was a little bit delayed and they kept asking for things and we were like ah, we could just send it all now but it's like some automated thing so and then we got an email from the lady who is dealing with our house move on the friday the day that their offices were closing being like i've got all of your stuff because we sent her our bank statements and some extra bits so that she could show that to the landlord to like try and help our case and she said everything looks really positive i'm hoping that on the third i can ring you and we can just organize you getting your keys so that sounded pretty positive and we're definitely speaking like we have the house but obviously we don't know for sure yet so yeah it's been tough because we basically have had to wait like two weeks just not knowing and it's a bit frustrating because obviously we would have known by now had it not been christmas but it is what it is and i'm looking forward to just the fresh start in the new year to be honest at this point we won't actually be able to like fully move until february because we will have to give a month's notice where we are right now um but the good thing is <clears throat> is that if we do get the house touch wood what we will hopefully be able to like be moving stuff over and still have access to this house so it won't just be like we have to move everything in one day because we have to yeah we will have to move everything in one day so that would be really good but we need to sort out like i actually might do that today look at like some removal van people and see how much that's gonna cost um i'm just so excited and i can't stop thinking of the house and we were like talking last night really late in bed like well i say really late 1am is quite late for me and i was just saying i can't believe we've had this home for just over two years together and it's kind of bittersweet because i do love what i was gonna say we but even jamal says me like i've done the home and obviously it was our first place together so it's gonna be bittersweet to leave and we're gonna look back at this house one day and and you know maybe tell the kids about the memories that we had here and just the journey that we've been on since we've been in here obviously we got engaged living in this house and yeah it's just there's a lot that's gone on but we're definitely ready for the move and we've both very much got our decluttering heads on and i think today i do have a gig this evening that i will need to start getting ready for at about five o'clock and leave by about six and it's only it's ten past one now there is a massive part of me that just wants to chill on the sofa but i think i need to do something because i'm also very much feeling like on the edge of being in a bit of a bad mood or a bit of a slump and I've felt this since yesterday, so I feel like I kind of just want to like stick podcasts on and maybe declutter and that will make me feel a little bit better. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to jump in the shower now because I've just been to the gym.
come tomorrow 10 a.m. it's gonna be full of our furniture. So yeah. The movies have just got here, they literally got here bang on 10 a.m. Talk about on time. Stop. Money, 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 money. 